right. Well, let's get started. Um, again, my name is Sarah. I am a photographer and I take photos all over the world, as you guys know. Um, and this is my niece, Bella. And my, my niece is normally with me when I travel. Sometimes for a couple of these monkeys, she wasn't with me, but she was with me for the last ones in India. So, and Bella is a yoga instructor. Yes. So um, she's going to be with me here today. Um, as we did last week, if you were here to see the penguins, um, we would love for you to type in the chat any questions, any comments. Um, we're going to ask some questions along the way. So feel free to um, answer those. We'd love to engage with you and get to know you um, and hear your answers. Um, and if you didn't get to see um, last week's uh, episode, um, it is on YouTube. So uh, let me know, I can send that to you. Um, or I always put it in my email that I send to anyone that's subscribed to, to my email list every week. So feel free to subscribe to that. And then I can always get you the link to the recording of these episodes. Um, but like last week, today is all about just bringing some smiles to your faces. Um, we know this is a difficult time um, and people are navigating all kinds of situations right now. Um, people are homeschooling. I know a lot of you are homeschooling um, and people are cooped up in their houses and um, people are, it's just a different way of life right now. So we want to bring some smiles to your faces and I couldn't think of a better idea than to first bring you penguins, but this week bring you monkeys. Um, so that's what today's all about, monkeys um, from three different countries. Um, and we're gonna show you six different types of monkeys today. Um, so uh, we're excited to show you those and uh, answer your questions about them and tell you the name of each one of them and tell you some stories about they are freaking hilarious, these, these animals. Um, we had some fun times with them um, in India, and I had some fun times in Costa Rica and in Kenya with my sister who's on the line here with my nephew. Um, so uh, we're gonna hop right into it. So just give me a second here as I did last week. I'm gonna share my screen. Here we go. Can everyone see the screen? Yeah, thumbs up, perfect. Great, well we started in, um, we're gonna start today in Costa Rica, which you can see on the map here, um, is right between um, North and South America. Technically, Costa Rica is North America, actually. Um, and you can see right where the star is there, um, that's where Costa Rica is. It's a very, very small country sandwiched in between um, the continents there. Um, and we saw three different types of monkeys here um, in Costa Rica. It takes about, uh, the flight took about, I'd say total travel time. I had a layover in Miami, probably about seven hours. So not too, not too long, but um, definitely on the plane. So here is a howler monkey. Um, what was really funny about these monkeys is they were right outside the home that I was staying in. And I heard them early in the morning and I thought it was a bunch of dogs barking. Mm -hmm. They make this really, really funny sound. Um, and it, it really, it's, it sounds like dogs barking. Um, and so I woke up, it was like six o'clock in the morning and the person I was staying with, my friend Lisa, said, hey, you've got to come down and bring your camera because the howler monkeys are here. We went in her backyard and there they were. So these are howler monkeys. They're, um, you've probably seen some pictures of them, but this is what they look like. And they howl. They're really funny. They, they jump all around. They're, they stay together um, like most monkeys. Uh, they stay together as their tribe and, um, and they're really cute really, really cute. So they make a funny noise and you always know when they're around and you know if you hear one, there's a whole bunch of them. So this was a whole family, probably about 
20 of them were there. Um, and that's what they look like. And these are right in her backyard. It's kind of like squirrels um, in New Jersey, but they're monkeys. <laughs> so that was. And then um, I went on a little boat. Um, in Costa Rica, a lot of people go on day trips and they take a boat to go on a day trip instead of driving anywhere. Um, and we went to this really cool, it wasn't an island because it was just on the coast of Costa Rica. Um, and we showed up and there was this monkey and literally this is how we found him. He was like, hey guys, I'm gonna model for you today. And that's what he did. He totally just <laughs> was like, I'm gonna climb up here. He's like, I'll be your friend. I'm gonna model. They really are super photogenic. Yeah, yeah. And um, can anyone guess what type of monkey this is? You can Put it in, in the chat, chat if you can guess what kind of monkey this is. And I'll show you some more pictures as we as we uh, see in the chat. <laughs> Eating a banana. So here, he's actually eating um, a piece of pineapple because my friends that I was with, that I was with, um, were, were feeding them, they were feeding him. Um, and not really supposed to do that, but um, he was having a field day. So that's why he hung out even more. They have personalities. What would you say? He looks pretty uh, intense there, huh? Someone said, were they scared or hesitant of you guys or people? They definitely, well, first of all, look at that tooth, by the way, guys. <laughs> um, they definitely, um, you don't want to go near them because just like the penguins we talked about last week, they are very territorial and they can be very dangerous. They can hurt you. Um, they look like they're funny and just they'll jump on you, but they'll, they can hurt you. They can bite you. Look at that tooth. He can bite you. So you have to be very careful, but um, I wouldn't say scared as much as they just don't want to be near you. But some of them but, are nice, I feel like. Yeah, they, they'll take, if you're going to give them a piece of pineapple, they'll get close to you. Mm -hmm. um, and Caroline, I can't believe you said that about your brother. <laughs> Caroline says the monkey looks like her older brother. <laughs> I won't tell him. So this is uh, him modeling some more for me. I mean, seriously, he looks like he's modeling on the tree there. But he hung around. He definitely hung around once we uh, gave him that pineapple. Just looking around the tree there. OK, so we're going to do the same thing we did last week. I've got a series of three pictures. And I want you to caption these pictures. So this is number one. Number two, hmm, I don't know. I just might have given it away, but <laughs> I think it is. And number three. Do monkeys have boogers? Oh, probably. Probably. I mean, I know that in one of these pictures, there was a, he had a little bit of like foam on the side of his mouth, which is kind of gross. Um, when he was eating, he kind of had a little... Um, it wasn't in his nose, but it was out of his mouth, so. So no, no takers on any uh, captions here? Can be anything you want. Silly. Silly, anything silly. Okay, I'm going to go back and tell you what I think. So this one I think is blowing a kiss, right? Looks like he's blowing a kiss. And then this one, I think, is I'm thinking about something. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what to do with these people. They might not give me any pineapple if I don't stay. And then I think this one is a salute. <laughs> so feel free to put in your ideas, uh, even though I told you what my ideas are as we keep on going. Oh, I like that. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
So um, I'm going to go into these next few. Um, this was actually a different area of Costa Rica. Um, my friend Lisa and I were driving down the road and a bunch of these, we haven't gotten any guesses on what type of monkey this is, have we? Oh yeah. No Elijah? guesses? Elijah, do you know what kind of monkey this is? <laughs> so this is a white-faced monkey. And this is um, what you think of usually when you think of monkeys. Like, I think, Ramona, hold up your monkey. I think that it, it's, yeah, white-faced monkey. That you have a, what is a white-faced monkey? Maybe, actually, that looks like more like Curious George, which I'm not sure which kind of monkey he is. But um, this is usually what you might think of when, uh, when you think of monkeys and the most common type of monkey um, that I was excited to see, for sure. Someone cap captioned this one, piggyback. Oh, please. yes. Well, that goes perfect with the story because we're driving down the road and there was... Um, all of a sudden I saw one of these white-faced monkeys in the middle of the road, which is very, very rare. As you guys can guess, these monkeys hang out in the trees. They don't really go on the road. Um, and there had just been a fire right next to the road. And so all of a sudden we looked to the right and there were about 50 monkeys coming and they were all going across the road. And this, these were two of them. Um, it, this is obviously a baby and her mama. Um, and they all went across the road. Um, they were headed from the beach to the mountains. And so we had gone to get a little snack at a, a local, um, local little restaurant called the Mo Monkey Bar. And we asked the waiter, we said, what was that all about? There were so many, so many monkeys. Like, what, does that always happen? And, and he said, actually, yeah. They come down in the morning at like seven o'clock in the morning. And then at like four or five in the afternoon, they go back up and they sleep in, in the mountains at night. So we were really excited to see them and see them, so many of them. And I wasn't able to capture them all together um, because we were in the car and I couldn't get uh, my camera in time. But the next day we went to see them come back down and we found them in this little area and there were, over a hundred of them and there were white faced monkeys and then um howlers and another monkey that i'll show you in just a second so this is the more of the white faced monkeys and this is them they were all just hanging out um and there are just there were hundreds of them hanging out um in this little area right next to the beach in the trees So yeah, they do sleep in the they do sleep in the mountains because there's more areas for them to kind of cozy in for the night. The beach, there's trees near the beach, as you all know, but um, not as many. So this is a way for them to find their spot and sleep for the night. So cozy, cozy <laughs> up for the night. And um, I see this comment about the fire. Yeah. So um, sometimes. Um, Fires are built to clear the land, um, to build up for something else, um, or to just replenish the land again. Um, and that's what was happening there. So they were kind of a little bit out of their habitat because they, they didn't know how to get across the way other than to take the road, which was unusual. So here they are just all hanging out. This is another mama and baby. How about we caption this one? Mm -hmm. That's a really cute. One. So cute, right? <laughs> I know the baby is so precious. So sweet. This one has a banana. So people were also feeding them at this little spot. Um, because it was close to the beach. So there was a hotel nearby. And my friend didn't even know about this little secret area of the, where these monkeys go. It wasn't, it was their natural habitat, but they went there every single day. So from then on, she was going there all the time. She was like, wow, I've got my own little monkey uh, sighting. And someone else come, uh, captioned it, are we there yet? Oh, I love that. Yeah, exactly. They, they go on their backs, on the mama's backs, the baby. 
Do some more. I mean, check out that hair. Well, mm -hmm. the hair of the India, India ones is better. Wait till you see the hair of the uh, monkeys from India. Another baby. Another mama and baby. And I love this one. This is like family portrait, you know, like if you're a family photographer, which one of my really good friends is, it's like the baby's like having nothing to do with it. Even though she's saying cheese and the, um, I don't know, maybe this is the papa, this is the mama, but they're all just hanging out, doing their thing. <laughs> they do like to relax and just chill out. This is them. It looks like they're being really aggressive here, but they're actually playing. They were having a field day. Like, you know how you say monkeying around? That's what they were doing. They were like running and like playing and fighting with each other, but like play fighting, like they weren't hurting each other at all. So monkey in the middle. Exactly. Exactly. So it was a lot of fun to just watch them. I, we stayed there for hours. I couldn't, I couldn't walk away um just taking picture after picture caroline wants to know if they sleep a lot i, I don't know the actual answer to that maybe that's something we google um they definitely sleep at night so that's where they go up to the mountains they definitely sleep at night um but they do sleep during the day i think i have a picture coming up yeah see now they're relaxing here <laughs> Yeah, it's saying that there's, it depends on the type of monkey, but there is a kind of monkey where the, um, that we didn't see that actually sleeps 17 hours a day. So that's kind of a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> 17 like hours. A teenager. Well, this one's sleeping for sure. They rest. I think they rest a lot. They hang out, but this one's just hanging around. That hair again. Mm hmm so this is a spider monkey and um there was only one of these monkeys hanging out with all the other monkeys there were some howlers there as well which i didn't capture but there was this one it was actually a female spider monkey um and all the other white beast monkeys and unfortunately what this means is that she got ousted from her tribe from her, um, I don't know if it's called a tribe actually, um, but basically um, something happened and um, she got kicked out. So troop. she was all alone. A troop of monkeys. A troop, a troop of monkeys. Or, so her, she got, a, or her cartload. <laughs> or a cartload. So um, she was all alone, um, but she was, she was pretty cool. She was a lot taller than the other monkeys, the white faced monkeys but she was just hanging. And then someone else asked if, did they get any close to you? Yeah, yeah. Um, they do. Uh, um, and later on, we're gonna tell you a really funny story about some monkeys in India, but these monkeys, especially when we gave the other white-faced monkey a, um, a uh, pineapple, he was like, like ready to, there's no, no, no scared there. He was like ready to get that pineapple if, it, if he had to do whatever he had to do. Yeah, she does look sad. I know. Um, she was just kind of hanging, but wait, wait for it. There is a little bit of happiness with this monkey in just a second. Mm -hmm. so this is a little series, <laughs> like totally monkey hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. I don't know if that's a yawn or a smile. I actually think she was making a noise like you just said, like, mm -hmm. a monkey know, noise. like a monkey noise. But she was really cool to see. She was um, definitely uh, beautiful and just the eyes were so gorgeous. Um, you can just really see. But I do think she was sad. I agree, Kaisa. She looked a little sad. I would be sad too if yeah. my troop made me leave. So now we're gonna head on to Kenya, Africa, which you can see the United States is up here on the left hand side. 
And all the way um, to the east is uh, Kenya, Africa. And um, I actually went there twice when my sister and family lived there. And um, I saw a few monkeys. I actually didn't see as many monkeys as you think you'd see being there. I saw a lot of other animals, which um, I don't know, the spoiler alert, that might come soon, a little safari maybe. Um, but yeah, so it's in the, in the corner there um, uh, is where the heart is, is where Kenya, Africa is. And that trip was, goodness, I think uh, probably about 13 hours in the air. So that was a little bit longer, um, even longer than Argentina, where we saw the penguins. <laughs> this is a baboon. Um, and they, you know, just like other monkeys, they just hang out. Um, but he was just kind of chilling there, chilling in the tree. Intense eyes. Yeah, my sister says East Africa. So it was on the east part of Africa, Kenya is. Peeking around the corner. And then we got another mama and baby. Um, they look very different than the other ones, right? Um, but just so sweet. I mean, this is the way they always carry their babies. Piggyback ride. Piggyback like ride. <laughs> monkeys, exactly. Monkey back ride. Mm -hmm. And this is the baby kind of hanging out <laughs> alone, which you don't see very often. Um, I don't know where the mama is actually. Oh, the, oh, she's right in the back there. My chat was over her face. There she is. She's watching over. This is a black-faced vervet. Is mm -hmm. that how we say it? Ver ver vervet. Vervet yeah. monkey. Um, and this guy, actually, this guy, I don't have a picture of it, but this guy had um, stolen a, an hard-boiled egg from the car that we had parked next to him. So when we got back to the car, this monkey had stolen it and eaten it um, because we had like a sunroof open and he got in there and totally stole it and <laughs> ate it. So then he was just chilling out sitting there like he hadn't done anything, but he totally did. Looks like a character from Star Wars. Oh yeah, the baboon. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one? Yeah, totally. They do look like Star Wars. We got more of him. This is him like attempting oh. to maybe hide. <laughs> <laughs> After he knew he did something naughty. Caroline, which ones are your favorite? The, the black faced? This is him. I think he's cleaning his teeth actually. I think he's oh, brushing yeah. his teeth. Is it bamboo? I mm -hmm. believe so. Actually. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's bamboo. Emily asked, are they stinky? I didn't get that close to them, but I mm -hmm. would imagine yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, the black face. They're really beautiful, aren't they, Caroline? Beautiful ones. So that was my, well, I only saw two different types in um, Africa. And now we're going to go to India, um, which you can see here is all the way on the right hand side so i go even further past east africa kenya all the way to india and this is where bella was with me um and i'll let you tell a little story about how we found these monkeys yeah so this is in southern africa we were in i mean <laughs> southern india we were in mumbai mm -hmm. and we took a a boat to the Elephanta Caves, and we weren't really sure what they are, but by the name, you can take some guesses. But it turns out that these caves, they're, they're pretty cool. They have some carvings in them, but actually what's on this island is monkeys. A ton, a ton of monkeys. So we were super excited and surprised because we had no idea. 
And yeah, it was incredible. And so these ones are the bonnet um, mekake. 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 Yeah. Mekake. Say that three times now. Mm. Mekake. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. The hair. So yeah, I teased this before. Look at this hair. Um, we've got Dwight Schrute monkey for sure. Hilarious. His they kind is... of, they really look like little old men. Like, it's the only way to describe them. <laughs> it's so funny. So this one, I don't know where they get the oranges from, but I'm guessing tourists Some again. Some people, yeah. So this one was eating a monkey. This one, uh, eating a monkey. Eating an orange. This is when we first got on the island, and we were like, wait a second. We didn't and... realize we were going to see monkeys today. Mm -hmm. And, like, a lot of monkeys. And they were hungry monkeys too. Everyone was feeding them, so they're a little bit um, they're a little bit wild, to say the least. <laughs> and we saw a whole family, and they were just so sweet with each other. I believe this is a mama and a baby, or maybe a little older than a baby baby, but they really just stick with each other. This was hilarious. I mean, quintessential. Just, they were jumping all around. They were actually, they were, it was a little nerve wracking being around them yeah. because they were kind of jumping around a lot and they were really wild, um, even more wild than the white faced monkeys in Costa Rica. Um, so they were jumping around and. Yeah, there's another baby. Yeah, they were climbing on all these vines and on the fence there. And I've seen some other monkeys before in other places, and these ones, I would say, are, they were a little, it was a little scary. Like, <laughs> you just kind of wanted to not be in the way if they were going to jump down. I don't think they were trying to hurt anyone, but. But that hair, I mean, every time I see it, it's hilarious, isn't it? So this is an older, um. I think it's just a. Makake. Um, yeah, not yeah. a bonnet one. So just a, a, a normal one. And yeah, older. That's a mommy. Yeah. Looks, um, would you say uh, that this one had a day at the beach, got sunburned? <laughs> yes, the elves are like little elves. I mean, the ears are like little elves, mm -hmm. like pointy, pointy the ears, definitely. So the qu there's a question here, were they aggressive about human food? Um, 100%. And we have a funny story towards the end of these photos that Belle is going to tell mm -hmm. um, about them being aggressive. So I want you guys to caption this one because, I mean, seriously, there's a whole story going on here. Um, mommy, daddy, baby. is a really, like, it was a beautiful moment, actually, you know? Yeah. Uh oh, yeah, you naughty kiddo. <laughs> it, it looks like they're having a little talking to talking mm -hmm. to the baby. There. The babies were being naughty. They were they running were. away. <laughs> they were. And they were all chasing each other. So what did you do? It's almost like you know when you when a dog does something um, naughty and it just kind of goes like this. Mm -hmm. Like I know I did something wrong. <sighs> <laughs> this is why we can't have nice things for sure. Love it. Um, yeah, and they actually right here, um, they, they clean their babies. Mm -hmm. I think they clean each other actually. And yeah. they're actually picking off bugs off of the baby because the bugs kind of go on them. And I think it's probably pretty annoying to have bugs all over you. So they pick them mm -hmm. off. Um, why do they like human food so much? Well, I think they're just hungry. Yeah. And they, because they lived, this is their, it's their natural habitat where they lived, but they live in a tourist area. So, now, yeah. Yeah. So they're used to a people coming people. through and giving them food and interacting with the, the public. Um, so that's why I think. Oh yeah, oh, get that spot. Oh yeah, get that spot. That totally. scratch. <laughs> That's so true. I love that caption. That's so, so funny. Mm. Yeah, it's so sweet. They're sweet too. I mean, mm -hmm. they really are. Um, 
<laughs> this one looks like he's uh, giving, kissing, kiss. giving, giving the baby a little kiss on the head. Mm. Now this one, what's going on there, Bella? Oh, this one, uh, this was a nursing. This baby was nursing from his mama. Yeah, so he's getting fed. <laughs> you are our only hope, Obi-Wan. That's funny. Kaisa, I like it. <laughs> the hair is just so funny. I know. Every time I see the hair, it just cracks me up. This is something Perfect. almost. See, he's eating something. I'm not sure what he's eating. So Bella has a story about this guy. So this monkey was just looking naughty, sitting there, and I'm watching him, and Auntie's taking pictures, and all of a sudden, he goes for a full force run towards this couple, and the guy is drinking a soda, and the monkey jumps into the guy's lap, takes the soda out of his hands, and starts drinking it. Just like this. <laughs> Two hands, he slurped down the whole thing through the bottle and ran away. And it was so funny because no one was the couple that was that he, they stole the soda from was just not expecting it. It was really silly. It was really silly, and it happened so fast because I took that picture of him farther away, like right down the the path a little bit, and and he was acting weird, yeah. like he was acting like and kind of aggressive around us. So I was just like, okay, I've got a picture of him, great. And we start walking and Bella goes, oh my goodness, did you see that? Yeah, he was- He was thirsty monkey. And he knew exactly what he was doing. He was like totally all over it. Um, we thought it was water, but then we realized it was like, was like so a Fanta or something, like a, um, a definitely a soda, mm -hmm. so. Uh, I love it, Caroline. Not yours anymore. That's <laughs> right. They're like, so I would imagine that happens with food too. Oh, um, yeah. But we didn't think, see that. I think we did, didn't did we? Did we? Because some people would sit, like a lot of the locals go there and it's really beautiful. So they would sit and have a little picnic. And I feel like I saw one monkey come and take something. So uh, I love this. Uh, it, uh, we got a comment from Kaisa. Looks like my Emily, Emily which oh. is Kaisa. Uh, looks like my grandpa's eyebrows when they grow out. <laughs> That's funny. He has, um, he has a long hair. Um, and then Elijah wants to know what baby monkeys eat. What do they eat, Bella? They eat milk, just like real babies from their mommies. Like human babies. And then I think once they're a little bit bigger, they will eat the oranges and soda. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Those are all the monkeys. So I'd love to see if there's any other questions about any of the monkeys. Um, and then I have a really quick special bonus treat picture of something else. Um, so any other questions? Did they make you smile? <laughs> Yeah, awesome. Yeah, they really, monkeys are just, they're really hilarious. They definitely have personalities. Like you, when you're around them, you're just like, I mean, monkeying around, the term monkeying around is for real. Like they mm -hmm. jump around and um, a couple of fun things about them. They use their tails in certain areas. Some of them use their tails. They go into water fresh water and they put their tail in the water and then they climb back up the tree and then they wring out their tails over their mouth and drink the water from their tails. I did so not this, know that. It's really cool. Um, so they, that's how they, uh, that's how they drink um, when they're near fresh water. Um, thank you, Clara. It was awesome to see all of them, all of the, um, Beautiful photos. Oh, we see a picture from someone. Is that Elijah? Elijah. What's Has that? A, a picture of a monkey. A baboon, maybe? It looks like a baboon or a howler. Mm -hmm. 
They didn't steal any of our drinks. No, they did not. Although when I was in Costa Rica, there was a woman right next to me that was drinking a bottle of water and the monkey stole that right out of her hands. And I was like, oh my goodness, that could have been me. Oh, that was a gorilla. A gorilla. <laughs> I have not seen gorillas yet, but I know that one day I will for sure. Yeah. It also, it's funny with the water and the soda, it shows a lot about how like, um, they're so smart, yeah? Because they just like watch people drinking water, humans, and they're like, wait, I want to do that. And so they know how to do it too with their hands. Yeah, they, so they, know, they know how to uh, definitely um, drink right out of the bottle. Didn't take him long. Okay, so I wanted to do one more quick um, picture for you guys because these animals were really cool. When I went to Costa Rica, I went to an, an animal sanctuary, which means that there are animals that get hurt in their natural habitats and they um, have a sanctuary where these people rescue them and uh, they live in, it's like literally like a mansion, these animals, because they're very well taken care of. And um, it's like a zoo, but much better because these animals are all rescued um, and then have a chance at life. If they had not been rescued, um, they might not have had. Uh, there's a monkey in the corner mm -hmm. there, it's so cute. Um, so one of the animals that I wanted to show you today is a rare sighting. Um, and I did not see this uh, clearly, I did see one um, but did not see one clearly in natural habitat, but I saw it at the animal sanctuary. And I want to see if someone can guess what this is. <laughs> A sloth, yes, great job. Everyone's getting it. Perfect, yeah. So uh, this sloth was just hanging out in this like bucket. Um, and barely, barely moving. And it was kind of hard to get my camera around all the trees, as you can see there. But um, these animals were, they're beautiful and really cute, really, really cute. But usually they hang, um, but this one was um, sitting in the bucket, um, just lounging out. Um, sloth in a bucket, exactly. Um, so, there are more, another teaser, there are more where that came from, from the animal sanctuary. Um, there are more animals from Kenya, a um, lot more to come. But um, any other questions? Any other um, things on your mind? Or maybe suggestions for next week's yeah, topic? Yeah, yeah. I know I got a few last week. Um, Maybe, maybe a sneak peek for next week. This one was taken in Costa Rica. Um, I've been to Brazil. Then a few other places that are tropical. So um, yeah, um, like last week, what I'm gonna do is um, announce the topic for next week um, in an email to people who have subscribed to my email. So if you want to subscribe, you'll be the first to know what the topic is next week. And I will also send the replay of this um, in that email so you have it handy. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a lot of other fun places I've been and I definitely want to share it all with you guys while we're all, uh, looking for smiles and looking for adventures right now as we aren't able to travel. So I really appreciate you guys coming today and asking your questions and uh, naming our monkeys and uh, playing along and um, appreciate the fun that this is. And uh, yeah. we look forward to next week and please do come. Please tell your friends. Um, I know some people are doing this in lieu of some some homeschooling, some social studies and things like that. So please tell your friends to come. Uh, the more, the merrier. We'd love to make more people smile um, or share the YouTube link with them. Um, I definitely just wanna share with everyone. And, um, and then next week, please share for them to join next week on our call. 
which will be at 4 p.m. on Wednesday next week. Um, and again, thank you so much for coming and we look forward to seeing your faces next week. Um, bye guys. <laughs>